I said, hey, man, thanks for your advice on Insta. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. Yeah, I think I think I remember your, your name, Tom. Yeah, yeah, cause trust me, I speak to so many guys. So many guys. I had a guy hit me up. Um, obviously, he saw that video about the fake friends and that. Um, no, no, no. He saw the video about why I stopped visiting family members and that. And then he was asking me, like, oh, um, like, yeah, he, the video resonated with him because he's in, like, a similar situation, but with a friend. He said that basically, or it could have been a family member as well, but, yeah, either a friend or a family member. He said that he feels like he puts in so much work to go and visit them and get me link a man and whatever, innit? And he said that apparently they had a birthday party, but he didn't turn up to it because he wasn't notified. And then when he caught up with them two, three weeks later, he was like, yo, why didn't you invite me to the birthday party? I was like, oh, I thought you would have knew. Bro, they, listen, you let the people them that are, are important to you know about your fucking birthday party innit? or whatever family function gathering you're having. You don't just expect them to just turn up, yeah? unless you've literally invited three people from their household. Yeah? So let's say, for example, I'm still living at my mum's yard. If my stepdad and my mum and I get invited, well, of course they're going to expect my little brother, who's like 25, to turn up as well because his parents and his brother's been invited in that. But uh, I hate my neighbour's fucking dog, blood. <laughs>